Hi everyone, this is Stacy. I am an essential worker and we are required to wear masks on a daily basis. I have a lot going on behind my ears with my hearing aids and my glasses and to have the mask that has the elastic that goes around my ears were absolutely killing me by the end of the day. It's been over 30 years since I've touched a sewing machine. So here I am, fast forward, relearning how to use a sewing machine. My mother-in-law bought one for us approximately five to six years ago, actually for our oldest daughter who wanted to make her own costumes. She never used it. So it sat in our closet, out of the box, but still in the case, brand new, all the tape, all of the cardboard, still intact. I'm using shoestrings for the tie. My husband said, don't laugh at me, but I got an idea. So he came in with doorbell wire. Yep, that's what I said, doorbell wire. But it's very pliable, however you put it, is how it stays. So that's what we use for the nose piece. So with this mask, uh, it's very easy to sew. This is only my third mask. I think I've done a pretty good job. I'm pretty proud of myself. So we do have a filter pocket here. I just have a piece of paper towel in there for now. We do have filters that go in here on order from Amazon, but they have not arrived yet. Now let's make the mask. Here are the materials you'll need to get started. For each mask, you will need three pieces of 100% cotton fabric that has been washed, dried, and pressed to remove any shrinkage. A piece of seven inch wire, floral wire or pipe cleaner will do, a 50 to 60 inch piece of string, scissors or rotary tools handy if you have it, and a ruler. Start with three 8 by 10 pieces of fabric, two interior pieces, and one exterior piece. Take two interior pieces and place them right side together. Find the center of your material, fold, and iron. Draw a line 3 inches from the side on the crease with a fabric marker or a pen. But don't worry, you won't see this line when we're done anyway. Sew each of the three inch lines, making sure to backstitch at the beginning and the end of each line for reinforcement. The middle will be your opening for the filter pocket. Fold down one side to show the pattern and press. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Fold it down and give it a quick press. Run a seam along each side for extra support. Be careful not to sew the filter opening closed. Lay the exterior piece of the mask face down. The bottom won't matter, it's the same on both sides. Now run a quarter inch seam on all four sides of the joined fabric. Cut the fabric on all four corners. Be careful not to cut too close to the stitch. Open the filter pocket and turn the mask right side out. Now push out all four corners with a point turner or your fingertip. Once you're done, hit it with a quick press. With the filter pocket facing up, fold the short sides three quarters of an inch and press, doing this for both sides. Fold the corners into the seam and press, doing this for all four corners. Sew the folds all the way down, making sure to backstitch at both ends for additional reinforcement. Next, insert the wire through the filter opening. Slide the wire to the top and sew from seam to seam, but don't sew through the wire.
Have you ever lost a string in your hoodie or your sweatpants? Well, I have. This easy threader is one of my favorite laundry room tools. It's not a sewing tool, but it sure has come in handy today. If you don't have one, you can lay your string into the side seams before you sew them. So I want to show you what this looks like from all sides around. So very comfortable, doesn't touch my ears. I've got protection over the full mouth and most of my face. I have the wires here to keep the nose in place so it doesn't ride up as well as uh, to help try not to clog my glasses. So there's my mask. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below and hit that like button. If you have any suggestions or you'd like to see me try another mask, let me know in the comments. I will do my best. There's a few other styles and a couple other fabrics that I want to try out. Thanks for watching.